I'm Allison Kruth. I'm the relatively new associate director of the Science, Technology, and Society program. We are a fairly rapidly growing interdisciplinary major at Stanford, and we're the only major to offer both a Bachelor of Arts and a Bachelor of Science degrees. We have students right now in the major who vary from those interested in management science and product design and the history, both cultural and technical history, of Silicon Valley to students interested in sustainability, in uh, the built environment, in public policy and science, and in uh, increasingly the life sciences and its relationship to information technology and to questions of ethics. So this is just to give a sense of the, the really diverse set of students who are drawn to this major. My sense of the STS uh, typical student is someone who is curious and interested in both the sciences and in the realm of, sort of arts, ethics, and politics. And this is a really great major for students who are interested in careers ranging from being a project manager at Google or another uh, Silicon Valley IT company to starting up a company of their own, uh, going on in fields like law, business, uh, or nonprofit work where the sort of ethics and potential of information technology will be central. And again, as I sort of indicated earlier, there are a number of students who have uh, come into the major trying to bridge uh, research and, and learning in the sciences with questions of public policy, particularly around sustainability. So the, to date, uh, and we have a really helpful list of common career tracks and common graduate school programs that students go on into from the STS major, to date we've had students in uh, a range of non-governmental organizations around the world, in senior positions at uh, IT and high-tech companies, and in the academic realm as well. There are a number of other interdisciplinary programs at Stanford that are kindred and that overlap with STS. Those include HUM Bio and Earth Systems, but also Public Policy, that major. And often we have students who come into STS wondering what is the right course for them. Uh, and at times we direct them over to another interdisciplinary program or over to departments like communication or sociology because based on their particular set of interests and career goals, that program or major makes more sense. In terms of what really distinguishes STS and what can help students decide to come to STS as their major, I think it's two things. One, it's this emphasis on mastering both technical field, whether at a level appropriate to a BA student or a level appropriate to a BS student, and having a sort of sustained education in the cultural and social history and current ramifications of technology and science. And it really is a field that is connected to uh, this wider international area of research on science and technology uh, in society. And so for students who, there may be students in our major who actually are interested in medicine or in the environment. I think what draws those students over to STS is this desire to have a technical expertise in both information technology and in some cases the life sciences. I can give a couple of examples of students that I think really represent the spirit of the STS major and, and explain why they were drawn to this major among so many other great choices at Stanford. Uh, one student is concentrating as a Bachelor of Arts student in digital media and society, uh, in information technology and society, and has taken a lot of courses in the communication department, but also in computer science, in um, sociology, and this is a student who's really interested in how information technology and particularly social networking and social media are making new forms of, uh, of business possible. And he's particularly interested in changes within startup culture in Silicon Valley that are making the barriers to entry lower and are showing ways that, that entrepreneurs can actually themselves have rapid access to um, not only funding but also um, technology resources. And so that interest in the relationship between the social and the technical dimensions of Silicon Valley is a great example of a prototypical STS student. On the BS side of the major, we have a student right now who is um, 
you could imagine the student majoring in computer science, except that he's really interested in the politics of video game design and software design more broadly. And so while he's taken a lot of coursework in computer science up to sort of advanced levels of artificial intelligence and virtual reality, video game design, and so on, he's also taken a set of courses in sociology, communication, and history that help him really understand what are other similar forms to the video game in prior, uh, prior periods or in other uh, social contexts? Can we understand the um, ethics of casual games like Farmville on Facebook differently by looking through a sociological lens rather than strictly through a computer science lens? So these, I think, are two students who really um, embody the, the spirit of the major. Then there's a student who's just declared who is actually majoring STS but concentrating in Earth systems. And I think the reason STS made sense for this student rather than Earth Systems was because he's particularly interested in the urban environment and in the way that natural ecologies and architectural as well as technological infrastructure are interrelated in an urban context.